Well, how is it going, everybody? Beast HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys yet another YouTube banner tutorial here in Photoshop CS6. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool 3D cracked background YouTube banner. And this is actually very easy to make, and the finished product will look very similar to this. So even if you are a beginner at Photoshop, you really should have no problems in making this yourself. So um, yeah, there will also be a link in the description to a folder that will basically have all the images I'll be using in this tutorial. So go ahead and download that. It's not too big, so it shouldn't take too long to download or anything like that. And you should be able to follow along with what I'm doing a lot easier because you'll have all the images that I'm using. So anyways, once you have the folder downloaded, open up Photoshop and then we're going to go to File and hit Open. And then go into the folder you downloaded. It's called Cracked BG GFX Pack and go to channelarttemplate.png, just double click on that and then just click OK if that pops up for you and Photoshop will open this little image here and this is going to make our lives a lot easier when we are making this um, YouTube banner because it basically gives us a perfect template for where all our text and stuff should be. So once you have this <clears throat> text or this picture, excuse me, <laughs> this picture opened in Photoshop then go to view Go down to where it says rulers and just click once on rulers and then you're going to go to view once again right down here to where it says new guide hit on new guide and then vertical and then just hit ok and you get this nice blue line here we're going to drag this blue line to where the dark gray meets the light gray there on the template once again we're going to go to view new guide vertical we're going to hit ok drag the blue line to the other side where the dark gray bit meets the light gray bit like so and once again, new guide, this time we're going to go to horizontal, hit OK, then just drag this blue line down to the top of the dark grey area like so. And finally, one more time, we are going to go to new guide, uh, horizontal once again and hit OK, and drag this down to the bottom of the dark grey area like so. So like I said, this is just going to make our lives a lot easier when we are making this YouTube banner. So once you have that done, go to File and then hit Open once again. Go back to that uh, cracked BG GFX pack and click on black BG uh, JPEG. Just double click on that. Photoshop will open it here in one second. There we go. So come over here to the bottom right hand side where it says background and double click on background to unlock the layer and then just hit OK. Make sure you're on your move tool. Your move tool is your top tool up here. So if you're on your move tool, you can left click on your mouse and just drag this background straight into this channel art template here like so. So we are going to resize this to fit the whole template by hitting Control T on your keyboard. Basically gives you a box around your image and then you're going to left click one of the corners and just drag out until it fills up the whole box. And once your uh, background fills up your whole box, then just come up here to this tick and hit the tick. And then come back over here to where it says layers and you'll see layer zero. Just uh, click onto layer zero and hit backspace to delete it. You no longer need that layer. So now we are going to add in our text. And to do that, we go over here to the left where all of our tools are. Come down here to this capital T. This is your text tool. Left click on uh, your background and just drag out your text box. So now you can type in anything you want, anything you want your banner to say. Like so, the font I'm using is called Vermin Vibes Redux, I believe it is. I will stick a link in the description if I remember. Um, yeah, but if not, the font is called Vermin Vibes Redux. You can get it on uh, 1001fonts.com or just type in Vermin Vibes Redux uh, into Google or you can use whatever font you would like to. Just make sure it's a little bit bold because we will be putting it into 3D and if the font is really thin, then um, I think thin fonts look really stupid in 3D. But anyways, once we have whatever you want written, I'm just going to go and space out the letters a tiny bit. So to do this, put your cursor thing in between the two letters you want to space out. Hold Alt on your keyboard and then just tap on the right arrow on your keyboard as well. And that will move the letters apart a little bit. Just give them a bit of room uh, between each other so you can really see the 3D when we extrude this into 3D in a few seconds. So I think it left a bit too much. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. So there we go. Now I'm going to extrude to 3D. And to do this, make sure you have your text layer selected over here. Also make sure you have your move tool selected. And then go to where it says type. Click the drop down menu on type. And then go to extrude to 3D. And just click that. 
and Photoshop will put this into 3D for you. Uh, it may take a few seconds or so, but it shouldn't take too long. Just wait till this blue spinny thing stops spinning and you will have yourself nice 3D text and there we go. So <clears throat> to move around your 3D text and to edit it, then you use these five tools up here. If you hover over them long enough, they tell you what they do. This rotates the object and then, yeah, you can just hover over the rest of them and see what they do. But I'm gonna go here to this last tool here. This is called scale the 3D object. And I'm gonna click on this top box and just drag up a tiny bit just to make the letters a little bit bigger, uh, like so, and to space them out a bit and you can see the 3D a bit nicer. And then I'm gonna go to the first tool, just left click and I'm gonna drag it down a tiny bit so it's a little bit slanted and once again just makes the 3D stand out that little bit more. So once you have that done, come up to this little circle up here, it is called Infinite Light 1. Just right click on Infinite Light 1 and uh, we are going to put the intensity up to about 3. See what that looks like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> and... I don't know whether we need to change this, I'm just going to change it really quick just to see what happens. No, we're going to leave, so leave your shadow softness uh, just wherever it is, leave it up to 100 or whatever. So there we go, now we have our 3D text and it is looking well and my Photoshop seems to be lagging severely here so I'm really sorry about that. So there we go, we have nice 3D text here and now we are going to add in our, um, our cracked background and make this picture look even cooler than it already looks. So to do that, once again, file, open, and then go to uh, the folder I've linked in, in the description. And then you're gonna double click on ground crack underscore 10. Just double click on that, and once again, Photoshop will bring it in automatically. Then we're gonna double click over here to the right where it says background to unlock the layer. Make sure you're on your move tool. Once again, it's the top tool up there, and we're just gonna left click and drag straight into our background. Yeah, my Photoshop is being really slow right now, so hopefully it doesn't end up crashing. Uh, it's been crashing quite a bit recently because I have a cracked version, so it is a bit shit. Uh, but anyways, I'm just going to resize this. Sorry about that. Uh, to resize it, just hit Control t on your keyboard and uh, just left click on the corners of these boxes here and you can resize it a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't resize it too much because I think the image gets a little bit fuzzy if you do that if you resize it a bit too much. So once you're happy with the size of it, then just hit the tick. And now to change this, uh, this looks absolutely stupid right now, but we are going to change this. To do that, come here to where it says normal and just click this drop down menu. And then we're gonna go to linear light, I think is the one that works, it is indeed. And then just drag your text up above layer two, like so. And uh, there we go, I'm just going to go back down here to layer 2 and I'm just going to move it up a little bit so it is completely covering the text. Once again I'm going to hit Control and T because I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, it doesn't really matter about the quality anymore to be honest. Because it still looks cracked and it still looks cool. So there we go. And uh, I'm going to hit the tick like that. So now to add in our little lens flare into um, all of this craziness, um, we're going to go once again, file, open, and then streak flare BG pink, double click on that. Once again, double click on background to unlock the layer. Okay, make sure on your move tool we are indeed. Just going to drag this once again straight into our picture like that. And then I'm going to hit control T once again to resize this. I'm just going to make it as big as the cracks here like that make sure there's enough the same amount of room left and right doesn't really matter though and I'm gonna hit that tick there and once again we are going to find out which one works I think it might be pin light I might be wrong though my photo fo my Photoshop is completely frozen right now so oh there we go and I was completely wrong it is not pin light but we are gonna go through them and see which one it is sorry about this I really should have tried to remember it is lighter color so you're going to click the drop down menu and go up and click lighter color and it basically does this, it puts a nice uh, pink flare into your cracks. So now we have this done, we are going to go to image adjustments, brightness slash contrast, put your contrast up to the top up there to 100 and then put your brightness up a little bit as well. No, that's too much, going to bring the brightness down to about 70. Just gonna click OK. There we go, that, that's looking nice and cool. We have um, cracked background with a nice flare in it. 
as well so that's looking really cool so once you have the uh, flare the way you want it the right color and once it's looking cool then what we're gonna do is we are once again gonna hit file and then open <clears throat> we are at this time gonna go to ground crack 11 double click on that once again Photoshop will bring it in double click on background to unlock the layer uh, I have to click on my move tool here and I'm just gonna move this straight into our template once again so now what we are doing is we are gonna put a bit of texture onto the actual letters themselves so I'm just gonna control T on the keyboard to resize this a little bit to make it a bit bigger so uh, the letters look really plain right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some texture onto it basically like that and once again I am not wait uh, one sec <laughs> so I'm gonna drag drag the layer you just brought into the very top of everything um, so you can no longer see our text once again hit this drop down menu and uh, once again I actually don't know which one we're gonna pick I cannot remember this one could be pin light it is indeed so click uh, the drop down menu and then click pin light and then we're gonna go here to where it says opacity just click that drop down just click the arrow down and we are gonna slide this down a bit we're gonna slide it down to about 50% maybe 60% yeah, slide it down to about 60% and there you go. You have some nice texture into your letters now as well. So it's looking nice and cool. That's basically everything we have to do. If you would like to add more text or anything in, you can of course do that. Or you can go ahead and search for some PNG uh, images online. If you want a Twitter logo or a Facebook logo or something, then just search PNG. You can stick that in as well. But uh, that's basically it from me. If you want to save this, then all you have to do is hit file, save as name it whatever you want hit the drop down menu and save it as a jpeg then uh, save it wherever you want and you'll be able to upload that straight to the youtubes so uh, i really hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave a like on this video it really helps me out and i really appreciate it and if you would like to see more tutorials from me in the future then of course you can subscribe to this channel as there will be a lot more to come uh, very soon so really hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys later bye bye